What's up, man? How you doing? Oh, everything good. How you doing? I'm good, man. My name's Judah, by the way. Judah? Yeah, let me ask you a question, man. I don't like to assume things. Are you homeless? Yes, I'm homeless. Okay, uh, how long you been homeless? I, I lost count. Maybe damn, almost a year. How did you get in this predicament? Well, I was speaking at an a, a, a event and I met this lady. She's an attorney out of Tallahassee and we got married. So I left Miami and went up there to live with her. At the time, I was running my own business. Uh, working with attorneys. In fact, that's how I met her. I was speaking at a convention center in Orlando and she was one of the um, attorneys that attended. And uh, we got married and um, and so when I brought my son up, because I have joint custody of my son, so when I brought him up there to stay with me, you know, for a while, you know, and, um, and she became very jealous, you know, and she started becoming disrespectful. So to get myself out of that situation because you know, I, I got a background that's really um, not a, a, a good background. I was sentenced to die when I was 16 years old wow. to the electric chair. And um, so I'm sitting, well, in fact, when Ted Bundy came to death row, they put him next to me. Really? I was in cell five, he was in cell six. And, um, you know, so he taught me, he taught me some things, although as a person, I didn't like him like that, but brothers, that's behind bars or people that's behind bars have a bond that develop because you're in a similar situation, similar situation way that people bond together, you know? And so we bonded and, uh, and he taught me never carry my feelings in my hand and to walk away when I can, you know? And so that's what I did in that situation with my wife. So I grew up in an environment with men. You know, I spent 19 years, five months, and 21 days inside prison. And, uh, and most of that time was spent in a one-man cell. When I needed to talk to somebody, I talked to myself or I talked to God. You know, I became very close with God, and then I eventually kicked him out of my life. You know, because how can the God that my grandmother told me about not see everything and hear everything like they told me he could but he apparently he couldn't see it because i didn't do the crime that they had me charged with you know?